Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Peter. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name's Paul Baruma. I'm who you spoke to, Peter, on the phone on Saturday, and Jessica, I'm the person you spoke to just a few minutes ago. Just wanted to introduce you to the 2017 model year Pajero Sport GLX. I'm going to take you through some of the main features of the car and why I think you'll really like it and why I think, more importantly, it suits exactly what you want to do with it. And once I've done that, I want to introduce you to Marty Vogel, who's our, he's our new car manager. Marty will take you through some of the towing abilities. He'll talk about the towing capacity. He'll talk about the downbore weight. He'll talk about the electric brake controller unit that's in here and some other things. But in the meantime, let's just have a little walk around and, and let's see what a, tell you all, uh, tell you what a Pajero Sport is. Marty, if you can just get a quick shot from the front, please. So as you can see, it's it's beautiful looking vehicle, very stylish. This, uh, this pattern here, if you like, or this design is what Mitsubishi calls its dynamic shield. What I particularly love about it is it is striking in its appearance. It is a very stylish looking vehicle. Not only is this stylish, but it's also designed for a number of reasons. It's shaped this way to minimise fuel economy, to maximise fuel economy rather, but also to make the vehicle pedestrian safe, all part of the ANCAP five star rating. As we, as we move around to the front, you'll notice you've got fog lamps. Really important because you're in Mount Macedon area. I'm tipping on a lot of days, especially this time of year, you're gonna run into a lot of fog. Great to um, be able to see where you're going. Some beautiful alloys. Uh, can I say this, Mitsubishi's over its journey really had a lot of time to perfect the way its alloys look. It's taken them a few years, I'm just gonna say that, but gee, have they got it right on this car. Beautiful looking alloy, very striking with the, with the, um, you know, the, uh, the chrome and also the black offset looks really good. Has side steps to make it really easy to get in. Uh, Fold-in mirrors which have the um, blinking indicators which makes it very safe for you as well. Very striking lines, really nice lines which give it a really sleek appearance. Marty if you could just come around here to the back thanks. Also has reverse sensors and Marty you might need to correct me on this, are these fitted standard on the GLX? Yep, so these are standard, nice sensors. The Heyman Reese hitch, which is um, non-standard Mitsubishi, but uh, very well rated tow bar. Marty will talk about that in a minute. I couldn't resist opening the rear of this because it's got heaps of space. Have a look at the depth, just to give you an idea of the depth. Now admittedly, I'm little, I'm five foot seven, but there is plenty of space in here plenty of room to put luggage, to put any horse related material in here. You can also get on the back a nice cargo liner and um, I'll, I'll talk to you about that separately but really sensible to protect everything in the back and if you're going to the beach or going anywhere it'll just keep all the sand and dirt contained. Easy hand hold on this which makes it super easy to, to shut. And again, no surprises, it's exactly the same on the other side. How about that? Tyres, from new, it's only done 19,500 kilometres, so you've got plenty of life left in your tyres. The tinted windows we spoke about, what's really important about that is, for little Reuben, something we prepared earlier, a little car seat to show how easy it is to, to get Reuben in and out, but also heaps of space in there for three adults, or two adults and, and, um, and Reuben in there. What I like about this is it already has tinted windows, which means 100% UV protection for Reuben in the back. Weather shields as well, which are a really nice um, practical feature, but they, gee, they really look good, especially the tinted ones. So that's about, um, if you just come around this way, we'll have a quick look inside. Now you'll notice it does have what we call the smart key. So it's a very simple operation to lock. And look at your mirrors go in, how good's that? I'm just gonna pop them out again for you. We are talking state of the art technology with Mitsubishi product. And to open the car, it's as simple as pressing the button. Point is, I could leave these keys in my handbag if I had one, I don't. I'll get Marty to take you through some of the details inside and just how all this works. Uh, but a very sophisticated cockpit style layout. I love it. You will feel like you're driving an aeroplane. 
Um, things like paddle shifters, which are, again, Marty will talk through how good that is for towing. Nicely bolstered seats. It's really important this. It really makes you feel comfortable when you are cornering in this car. And again, lots of leg room. So I'm going to uh, pause there and say thanks for the opportunity. I'll come around here so you can come this way, Marty. So I'm going to pause and say thank you for the opportunity to do business with you, Peter. Thank you, Jessica. And I, as I said on Saturday, I only recommend products that I know are going to work for you. The Pajero Sport GLX, you will be super, super impressed with it. We talked about the premium mechanical protection plan. Bit of a secret there. Don't tell anyone else about it. That's just your, your, your secret of mine, Jessica. We know what we're talking about. And of course, um, cap price servicing as well, which we've covered off. You've got two of those left. So thank you very much. I'm handing over to Marty. Cheers. Hi, Jessica and Peter. My name's Marty Vogel. I'm the new car sales manager here at Berwick Mitsubishi. What you've got here is the new Pajero Sport, which uh, Paul has run you through briefly. I just want to tell you a bit more about the mechanical advantages that this car presents. One thing to remember with the Pajero Sport that it does have a full ladder frame chassis, which means that it's not a monocoque construction. It's got a proper um, construction of a vehicle like a Triton Ute or something like that, which is far better for towing heavy weights. It's got a 2.4 high output variable vane geometry turbo, which basically means it produces less lag. Okay, the turbo spools up nice and quick. When you combine that with an eight speed automatic and paddle shifters, it's the perfect towing combination. Now, this car has got uh, electric brake controller, okay, which is inside new generation electric brake controller. You can see here, it's really just a switch, which enables you to dial up the amount of brake resistance in the rear. It used to be a big, heavy, cumbersome box. Those days are gone now. Now we have the Red Arc brake controller, which is a far superior brake controller to controllers of the past. Okay, so as I was leading to, you've got your paddle shifters here. Now it's got an eight speed automatic. Um, advantage of having these paddle shifters with an eight speed when you're towing um, is that you can have far more control and get better um, control with your uh, engine braking using the advantage of the diesel's natural attributes. So what happens when you're going along, you can be um, going through some twisty hills, towing a horse float, you, you can use your paddle shifters when you click the button here it'll show you what gear you're in anywhere th from from one through to eight of course um, but as you start to come down a you know a slight hill or something like that you can use your paddle shifter to, to pull back a gear and what that'll do is it'll use a bit of engine braking uh, advantage of that really is you've got far more control um, you can go up a gear with this side and down with this side uh, far more control um, in hilly and twisty situations um, and it's going to reduce the amount of time that you need to use on your brakes and that sort of stuff. In fact, last time I was coming down through the spur, I noticed a whole string of cars in front of me um, towing and whatnot, their boats and things, and they were all jumping on the brakes far more than what I was, um, purely because I was able to use my paddle shifters. Um, one of the other great advantages you've got here is um, you've got your super select all-wheel drive system. So at the moment it's in too high, uh, which is great because you can see the weather's beautiful. Um, but if the weather starts to get a little bit slippery, you've got the option just simply to move into constant all-wheel drive. And that's kind of like, I don't know, I guess like a Subaru or something like that. Uh, most four-wheel drives can't do that. They can't have four high on the bitumen because it binds up. So you've got that extra safety level there, which is really important. Uh, if you want to look up here, you've got some great things like you've got your digital climate control. You've got your... Um, new Apple CarPlay or Android Auto system. So if you plug your phone into it, um, it mirrors your phone effectively and enables you to um, press your voice button and say things like, take me to a particular address or um, send a message to um, my husband or my partner. Um, so you can send and receive SMSs, uh, you can listen to digital radio, you can listen to your iPod or music from your phone, but you can also give it instructions, which is really good. So the other thing I wanted to point out, I mean, Paul's talked about the Heyman Reese tow bar. Obviously, Heyman Reese is a well-known brand. Um, Heavy-duty towing capacity. You've got a 3.1 tonne towing capacity, and you've got a 310 ball weight. You'll see here that it does have a 7-pin flat plug, which is quite standard nowadays. Uh, the older school round ones do tend to get ripped off. Um, one advantage you've got with the Heyman Reese actual proper Heyman Reese tow bar is that they've got a squarer edge and that allows you to put in a proper level ride system with a height adjustable ball on it. Unfortunately the Mitsubishi haven't come around on that yet and so for people that do want to tow proper uh, weights and have an adjustable ball the Heyman Reese is the way to go. Okay so that's the main key features of the Pajero Sport. 
And I think one of the things that's hard to um, talk about or how to see, and a little less tangible, is the comfort. The comfort that you get in this car is outstanding. One of the things that it does have in the rear, um, although it's got a commercial style ladder frame chassis, which is ideal for towing and all that sort of stuff, it does also have a coil spring set up in the back. Um, a lot of full ladder frame chassis cars tend to have a leaf spring in the back. The advantage of the coil spring is that it really gives you a comfortable ride. So when you're driving around and you haven't got a heavy load on the back, it still rides like a car. As Paul said earlier, the seats inside, the cloth fabric, I find the cloth is a lot more flexible than, than leather and stuff like that. And also in the variable heat and cool, I find the cloth is, is far easier to use. Um, the overall driving of the vehicle, I think people are really surprised when they drive it. I mean, take for example, we've got a, a new used car manager with us, Ben. He's been driving this car for the last few days. And quite honestly, when we get around the coffee machine and have a bit of a chat, he's full of praise for the Pajero Sport and how well it drives. You know, from its punchy acceleration with that eight-speed auto and that high-pressure little turbo just kicking in um, and the comfort level that the car has got, I think it's really difficult to beat. But thank you for your inquiry and good luck. This is the right car, I'm sure of it.